when he went to London, I mean, the last time he left for in Darwin before he came back that last time, and of course, he, you know, he left his body here, November the 14th, 1977. But the last time he left for in Darwin, he was supposed to go to New York, but in actual fact, he only got as far as back to Vedanta Manor. He got as far as London, and he was at the manor. So he, he's, his flight was, maybe it was early morning, but anyway, he was leaving Vrindavan late at night. In those days, the roads were very bad. It was at least four or five hours to get to Delhi. He was, and he was in the back of a car. And um, obviously, the devotees all stayed up to say goodbye to Srila Prabhupada. And as he was, as, as the car drove off, it suddenly stopped. I don't know why. Divine luck. And it stopped so that I was looking at Srila Prabhupada and he was looking at me. And it was very shocking because Prabhupada was on some guest house mattress. He was on some mattresses. And he looked up at me and I looked at him and it was like, I was so shocked at how skinny and how ill he looked because I hadn't seen him for some time. At one point he used to sit under the tree and we'd all go and chant under the tree with him. But somehow I hadn't seen Prabhupada. Maybe, I don't know for how long, I can't remember, but when I saw Prabhupada, I felt, how can he leave Vrindavan in this condition, in this so ill? And I realized that Prabhupada was going off to preach. He wanted to go and visit his devotees and visit the West and preach. And I always thought that, you know, that is, that is, you know, a true warrior, a true warrior in Lord Chaitanya's army going off to preach like that. It was very touching to see Prabhupada.